So they sacrifice animals at this altar and this area is where they pray four prayers a day. Today we are at the Karnak Temple in Egypt. I really don't know much about what is this temple about? Karnak Temple, the biggest temple in the country. So it's the and, biggest temple the in, Egypt in Egypt as well. And oldest in Egypt. So, 60 acres, the size of the temples. Size of the temple is 60 and built acres. around 2000 BC. Okay. It's why the oldest and the largest temple in the country. All right, interesting. So we're about to go check it out. I must tell you the heat is still on today. I see a lot of tour bus. So it has to be something interesting they have inside why it's so full out here. But we shall see. Marcy is here again in her hat and her glasses. Chiny over here. Hey. Den Den. Den Den. I'm a little tired. <laughs> so we're going to check out the temple and see you. We're going to see what I'm going. We're going to see what I'm going. All right? Behavior. Tourist behavior. So there's the Karnak. That's what visitors sent us. So I guess this is where we enter and head into all the goodness. I don't know why. May I walk away from the group, you know? But as usual, I don't know. I go kind of wander off. Yeah. But you know, see, I look my day. I look for myself in the mirror. And we are finally inside the Karnak Temple. Avenue. It's mostly ruins to right. due to earthquake. To the left hand side, you know. But we sphinxes. have the sphinxes on the sphinxes. The yeah, right. these are in good condition. Good condition because it has been restored like you know um, a few months or so two years ago. Mm -hmm. Has been restored. restored. Okay. But it's mostly ruins, guys, if we look at it. King Tut, you see King Tut here, the face of King Tutankhamun, the boy King. Yes. With the lion body here. Okay. King Tut. Okay. All right, and this altar right here was what they used for sacrifice. So they sacrifice animals at this altar. And this area is where they pray four prayers a day. That's what they do. But it has a lot of history, interesting stuff. Yeah, it has a lot of history. It's very interesting, a lot of tourists, but it was more the last time I came. Yeah, but yeah, good vibe, good vibe, good vibe. Good vibe. She never, everything was just the hand. Right, oh right. Like how they get even the color in, how they get everything. And it's so smooth. And carvings all the way. It's true. Really interesting how they do it back then. I understand Dubai now that is modern and the Burj Khalifa about doing this. Yeah, the ruins and yeah, it's like that. But it's really intriguing. Really intriguing. So this is a sanctuary for the priests le, 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 to access to in here. So I feel privileged actually walking in here because back then it was just the priest that comes in this section of the palace or the temple. Here we can see outside. But very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff. You know, for purification. You know the size of the lake, 40 by 80 square meters. It looks 40, like a pool. 40 by 80 square meters. Mm -hmm. And also the, uh, the depth of the lake, four, um, 4 meters or 12 feet. The oh. depth of the lake. 12 feet. You know? And 40 All by right, so we're at the end of the tour of the Karnak Temple. Very interesting. I would say it is worth visiting. Would you guys say it's worth visiting? Oh, yes. Definitely, definitely. So, apart from the... It's your favorite. <laughs> Apart from the heat, it is worth seeing. I wouldn't say come this time of the year because trust me, it's crazy hot. February is a bit chilly, so it's really what you prefer. Some people don't mind the heat, some do, like myself. So yeah, we're at the end. 
and we head back to the bus. Mohammed did a great job. He's just amazing. So when you guys come, you can't get anybody else but Mohammed to show you around the Karnak temple. He's very knowledgeable and very, very accommodating. So until next time, guys, stay tuned. Bye. <music>